I was 18, I fell in love with a girl who had cancer. Like a year after uh, we started dating, she was re diagnosed. Um, I felt like the best possible way I could turn that into something beautiful or important or hopeful uh, was to just start doing music again. It was in one way, I guess, some artful form of therapy um, and in another way a defiant gesture of love towards this person I, I used to know. I got my friends who I met in youth group like fucking over the course of 10 years and we came together and recorded my parents' garage, uh, just did some songs and I put them on the internet and then a local radio station picked it up, played it and gang abuse became a thing. You only get one shot at a debut and I took that reality really seriously with this whole thing which is why it took so fucking long to record. I think for a, a lot of the time we were recording the record and that I was writing all these fucking songs, I was so uh, consumed with the idea of making it acceptable and palatable to a certain group of people. I wanted it to be cool and I wanted it to be cutting edge and fucking whatever dumb thing. And in realizing that I'm not cool or cutting edge, um, I'm just some guy who had a really, really, really interesting story. So we made this mawkish, sentimental, hopeful, bitter, twisted, um, insanely self-deprecating, honest, profane record. I'm really, really, really lucky to work with my best friends. These, like, these kids are fucking animals. <laughs> they're, and they're really, really good at what they do, so. Um, I think part of the reason why I feel that we do have um, an interesting live performance presence is uh, not, not because of anything I do, but because of the people I'm surrounded by. I'm Max, John Choch and I are the, the gang of youths, in gang of youths. I'm very grateful that my boys. But yeah, where I see the record going is I fucking know, like, no one listens to guitar me, but um, will anyone care? No, fuck, probably not. I mean, people might hate it, and if they do, that's fucking cool. Uh, but I'd rather they hate us for what we are and what we do than like us for some completely facile, shitty reason. Like, we're the flavor of the month. We made an honest to God record. Uh, if it's good, I don't know. Um, but it's ours, and I'm happy with it. So, the business is about getting beats.